These nasty little bloodsuckers have sunk their razor-sharp mouths into you for the last time. Today, we're killing every tick on Earth. But how would you trap them? Why would we have to modify their DNA? And how could this destroy whole ecosystems? This is What If? And here's what would happen if we killed all ticks. These parasites are nearly indestructible. They can live underwater for three days and even survive prolonged periods of drought. And they can go without a blood meal for up to two years. Yeah, uh, killing them won't be as easy as you might have thought. If you want to take out all ticks, you'll have to have the patience of a tick. What does that mean? Well, they prefer to lie in wait on blades of grass, preparing for that perfect moment to strike. When a host walks past, they latch on and sink those barbed mouths into a thin piece of skin. But if we squished every tick out of existence, what would happen to the food chain? All right, tuck your pants into your socks and get your gloves. It's time to get to work. So how are we going to get rid of every tick? Right now, people use a pesticide called permethrin to kill these tiny arachnids. But blanketing the world with pesticides would be dangerous for humanity. These poisons could destroy your liver and irritate your nose and lungs. All right, so what else is on the table? Well, ticks are attracted to carbon dioxide. You could place dry ice in a bucket with a strip of masking tape around the edge. Keep the sticky side of the tape up. As the carbon dioxide draws them in, they'll get stuck, making it easy for you to end their lives. But that will only work for a few hours. No, if you want them gone for good, you'll have to think on a microscopic level. Scientists developed genetically modified mosquitoes in the Florida Keys to curb the natural mosquito population. Yeah, the modified mosquitoes passed on their mutated genes to the next generations, eventually killing them off. Maybe franken-ticks aren't the most ethical solution. What if we got other animals to do our dirty work for us? We could release natural predators like guinea fowl and chickens into infested areas to feast on the ticks. But they can only eat so many at a time, and eventually these animals could become new hosts. But if we did manage to kill off every tick on the planet, it could positively affect public health. You see, some ticks can carry Lyme disease, a condition that can cause nerve damage, facial paralysis, and brain swelling. A 2022 study stated that 14% of the global population has been infected with it, thanks to ticks. Wiping out ticks could help prevent the spread of this disease, but this could end up doing more harm than good. You see, ticks are a disease vector, an organism that carries bacteria and deadly pathogens that are spread to other organisms. And without ticks helping control populations, ecosystems could be overrun with animals all competing for the same dwindling resources. No ticks would also mean that reptiles, amphibians, and birds would have less to eat and this could have a domino effect that might spell the end of entire habitats. Food chains could be disrupted across the planet, and over time, we would witness mass extinctions of plant and animal species. So, as annoying and devastating as they are, we need ticks around. But what if evolution took a turn for the worse and Ticks became the size of humans. Well, find somewhere safe to hide and keep watching because that's a story for another What If.